Hi guys, hello and welcome. So today I thought I'd be doing a try haul, try on haul video for you all. So my finally my chart order came through. Yay! So I'm so excited. Um, I ordered bits, some bits and bulbs from Tarte. Um, what I actually did not order was no, I do have mascara. I have foundation. I don't have a primer from Tarte. So for primer, I will be using another primer, but I do have everything I have from Tarte. I will be using that, of course, and for anything else, I'll be using something else. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So to start off, I will have to go and color correct my eyes because as you can tell, they're so bad. Um, I do have panda eyes, so I will be using my trusted NYX palette in color correcting palette in 3CP04, I believe it is called. And yeah, I'm just going to use that and dab it slightly underneath my under eye. So what I also was able to get my hands on from the from Tarte Cosmetics is of course the Tarte Light and Blue palette and I'm so excited for this one in particular. Um, I do know that this was like everybody's favorite it seems last year. I know it's been a year but hey summer is already around the corner and we have spring and I thought why not. And so once opened it has this beautiful secret. Look at this palette. It is so sturdy. It is plastic, but it's gold and uh, can I say more? No. <laughs> so yeah, let's get right into it and decide. What colors to get on? Oh wow. This is just so beautiful. And you have this little plastic lid over there. And before I actually am going to go, I will be... I will just go on and basically prime my lids. For that, I will be using this... This... Um, Charma shape right here, the white one on top, and I'm just going in with my Essence eyeshadow brush, tapping the excess off. Uh, it's so pretty, I don't even want to destroy it because it does have tart. Like all the eyeshadows have tart. Um, I'm just going to blend it further. And the key here is basically just to blend everything nicely and neatly out. So I am taking this brown shade which is called Smarty Pants. Oh no, I'm going in with Jet Setter, the more bronzy, cool tone brown shade above. Tapping the excess off. I'm going to take this right into my crease. I'm patting it into 
fire. Let me swatch these. Well, I am going to pack this into Firecracker, which is this bronzer shade over here. And I'm just going to pack this onto my lid. this deeper shade over here and I'm just going to take my um, small shader brush again and just concentrate this in the V area of my eye and gently bring it into the crease just to blend everything out so that there are no going into this charmer shade again at the top and I'm just slightly going to put it underneath my eyebrows and excuse my eyebrows I'm just trying to let them grow but the eyes are beautiful so now that this is done I absolutely love this palette actually this is such a nice palette and you can create so many different looks as you can tell and especially beautiful smoky eyes so I can't wait to try play and play with it further and let you all know so now the um, eyeshadow is done I'm just going to check if I had any fallout with so the, the eyelids are done for now we will be moving on to foundation so for foundation I got this Tarte Rainforest and Sea foundation in the shade light medium beige I have not tried it out yet, so I'm not quite sure if it's going to suit me or not. Hopefully it will. And <clears throat> Let's go right into it and see. And I just love the package. It looks so lush. Um, I will be mixing my uh, Vitamin C Glow Enhancer. This is a water-based foundation from what I can recall um, and I've heard I've actually heard only good things about it So I took four drops of the rainforest of the sea foundation and one bulb of this vitamin C by the body shell and I'm just going to mix it on the back of my hand and See how it goes One is the Tarte Shape Cut Concealer, I got this in light, and I also got the Tarte Maracuja Concealer in light medium honey, not light medium sand. So I do think that the Maracuja Concealer, I have not tried any of them, but I do think that the Maracuja Concealer is more my shade, because light is just too light, I think. Oh yeah. But look how huge this is. Um, I can definitely do a testing out comparison of this Tarte shape type over here with the Maracuja one. Please let me know if you want, if you're interested to see that. And yeah. Oh my God, the wand is huge. foundation on when in fact I had a light 
to medium coverage foundation on and this is just only due to this little bad boy so so far i really like it but i am going to set it even though it does say that you can get away with this not setting this i still don't want to take the risk of not setting it so i'll be setting it right setting now and i'm using my trusted mua powder And this is actually the pressed powder. I, I'm sorry, I don't have a Tarte setting powder. I know I could have probably used one of the eyeshadows, but I want to give this foundation whatever I do normally as well. So and I love this. I love this MUA powder. This is only one pound and it's amazing. Now that this is done, uh, for contour, I don't know if Tarte has anything for contouring. I don't have anything for contouring. I don't have any Tarte eyebrow product, so I will be using my regular brow kit by Barium. to go and finish off my eyes so for eyes actually I will be using I'm using my Tartlet and Bloom palette again so I'm going in and I'm just going to finish off the lower eyelashes and for that I will be taking a mixture of leader with activist which are these two lips i will be using this tart tart yes the paint in festival and this is just basically a very pretty mauve muted pink color let's get it onto our lips oh Heart blush, but I got this beautiful, 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 wonderful California benefit blush. So I thought, why not? Oh, it smells like the physician's formula bronzer, it smells like coconuts. And I have not tried this out, but I think this is the perfect shade for um, spring summer. 
because it does have a golden overlay. I wish that was a more like not a overlay, but a. So yeah, blush is done. Um, the eyes are done. The lips are done, and I'm just going to go with my. Since I do not have a tart, I don't even know if tart does setting sprays. Uh, comment below and let me know if they do. So I'm just going to go in with my Slay All Day by Gerard Cosmetics. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is the final look as you can see. Uh, yeah, comment below and let me know what you think of it. And also, do not forget to click a thumbs up on my video. And also go and follow me on my social media. It is Laurie's Corner or Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter as it has always been and um, yeah I would like for you to leave a comment maybe also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this or any other video kind of videos please comment below and let me know and hope to see you all soon in my next one thank you guys goodbye